These ceremonial ceramic jars are used to store corn beer or chicha. The bottom of these arpu are usually pointed to aid when pouring into smaller serving containers. Hmm, can't quite make the dialect out. God, this is a penguin lawn ornament, painted and decorated and placed in a location of reverence. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but it's so incongruous. The locals wouldn't be able to identify the animal it's intended to represent, and they certainly wouldn't be familiar with the material the statue is made from. There isn't any plastic in Paititi. I'd love to talk to whoever did this and learn why, what they think this penguin is. It's a bit... During a fierce battle, a man of two bloods throws down his weapons and, speaking with passions, convinces the other warriors to do the same. They follow him from the battlefield into the city, where they behead several merchants whose initial bickering caused the war. <laughs> Hmm. <sighs> 
Beware. We've uncovered a wolf den in the area. But then again, maybe that is why you're here. What do you mean? The gods have sent one outsider to hunt another. Very appropriate. Best of luck on your hunt. A little advice. Stay out of the wilderness, friend. Something dangerous prowls out there. This is as near as I ever go. And even then, I make sure not to keep my back to the jungle for too long at a time. Do you believe that major events in life can be traced back to a single moment? I do. Take what's happening now. Had Amaru and Saidi not fought that day during the famine, and had Saidi not insisted, despite Amaru's wishes, that it should be him who would go beyond the safety of the borders to hunt for the village, perhaps things would be different today. You see, Amaru felt responsible for his brother's death. I heard him the night they pulled Sairi's body from the wilderness. He was beside himself with grief. I think that was the moment. It broke Amaru. He took complete control of Paititi after that. He wanted to protect us all, because he couldn't protect Saidi. I caught a fish once at home, in the well. Papa says it's because there are tunnels filled with water under some houses. Funny, huh? Weak. He has them. Enough, Taki. You lost your dice. Fine. But don't lie about it. Pilgrimage came to a fork of two rivers and decided to settle. They erected two pyramids and began their new lives as protectors of the box. I make my way all the way over to him, and he tells me we can't barter. Said I had nothing he wanted. Imagine that, surrounded by garbage and entrails, and he thinks he can talk to me like that? Well, he just lost a customer. I'll never visit his stall again. All my business will be conducted at the market from now on. Careful, friend of Unuratu. The Jaguar warriors. Don't get too close to them. They are always watching for rebel activity. And they have no mercy.
I can see him. Are you okay? No. Pisco the dead took my dice, and no one believes me. But he took them. A dead man took your dice. Are you sure you didn't lose them? Ugh, you're as bad as the rest of them. I'm sorry, you're right. I'll tell you what, I'll pay very close attention, and if I see Pisco the dead, I'll ask for your dice back. Really? You believe me? It won't be the first time the dead seem to speak to me. I know Pisco took my dice. I hope you can get them back. Beautiful. You're here during a busy time, friend. The tanners, the butchers, the weavers, the dyers, even the teachers. All the districts are preparing. The market will be busy. Great things are on the horizon for the city and its people. We all must do what we can to help Kukulkan usher in a new world. <laughs> Beautiful. Have you met Paimo Ishiki? The fool thinks the gods punished him. <laughs> Lazy bastard. Come to plunder, outsider. Great warriors have failed the challenges. The hidden places offer rich rewards, if you survive. What are you talking about? A rite of passage. A test to separate the corn from the stock. A trial that all cultist warriors must face. Nothing for the likes of you. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm capable of. Then find the path of battle. See if you and your arrogance can survive it. This figure must be the Nowell, the mythological beast stalking the outskirts of Paititi.
It's a bit humbling to be here in Paititi. I didn't foresee any of this. I was expecting an ancient place, artifacts, tombs. I just failed to imagine people. I was so focused on the trail of clues, I didn't even stop to wonder. I didn't mean to interfere, but Trinity's here. Do not leave the city. Those who leave become cursed, forced to wander the jungle, and never find peace. This obsidian tipped arrow was snapped in half. It looks similar to those used by Unaratu's rebels. If they went up against Trinity with these primitive weapons, they never had a chance. This could be interesting. I've left and come back, and no demons haunt me. Was I just lucky, or has the cult lied to us? What do they have to gain from keeping us here? Looks 
like gold. There's something on the other side. May Olanta find the clays and metals of the afterlife suitable to her craft. This won't be easy. Okay, one last leap. Hope this is worth the trouble. Get out of here. <laughs> your scar, your way united the two sides, ending the war. However, their blood still boiled. In order to placate the soldiers, someone must be punished. Yahweh rounded up the merchants believed to be responsible for the conflict and sacrificed them. Thank <laughs> you. 